Hello everyone! Welcome to Pinos Live! My name is Brandy. I will be your art instructor today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, today we're doing a super cute painting. It's this nice uh, curious loggerhead sea turtle. Uh, it'll be a super fun one, very aquatic themed, uh, very, uh, very, very fun and blue and colorful. Um, so really quickly a little bit about me. I am currently in grad school for art therapy and counseling and I went to undergrad for art and psychology uh, but I've been teaching for about three years so I've been doing this for a while um, and, and I'm really good at answering questions that we have as we're going through this um, but I'm also currently at the Glenview location at the Pinos Palette. So I know a lot of us are probably from all over, uh, which is super awesome that we can all come together and paint the same painting. But the coolest part about it is that they're all going to look completely different at the end. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through this step by step. I'm going to tell you what brushes to use, which, uh, which uh, color mixtures to use, uh, and everything that you need to know as we're going th uh, through this. So if you... Uh, uh, get lost, you know, feel free to just uh, hang tight and I will hopefully answer those questions as we're going through this. Uh, and yeah, let's jump right in with our materials. So our materials are going to be, let's just start with our brushes. So hopefully you have three paint brushes. I'm going to have kind of like uh, this medium sized brush. It's not too large. It's not really a teeny tiny one. So this is my medium sized brush. Uh, and then I have an even smaller brush, but it's not like a pointed one. I do have a pointed one though. So you have like the largest brush and then you have the smaller brush and then you have the smallest which is pointed. So uh, those are my three brushes that we have. And then of course you want to make sure that you have a nice paper plate so that you can use this as your mixing pad mixing palette. So we're going to have lots of colors um, that we're going to be mixing and creating new colors and that will be going on here. So yeah. And then of course you have your beautiful color palette with all of our beautiful colors that we have. Um, and then the most important thing is a water cup. You want to make sure that you have a nice water cup so that whenever those brushes get dirty, you want to make sure that you can put them right back in there so that they are ready and rearing to go for the next time that you need them. Um, because whenever you're not using brushes, that's where they're going to go. They're going to go in that water cup and they're just going to be hanging out. And then lastly but not least, you also need some good paper towels. So we got some paper towels here. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a good handful of them at least because you'll need something to wa wash off your brushes with or um, yeah. So let's get started. I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, let's jump right in. Oh, another thing. I always forget this. Um, a piece of chalk. I have a chalk pencil here. Or if you don't have any chalk, a pencil will work too. Chalk works a little bit better because it's easier to wash away. Um, but to have a piece of chalk so that you can draw your turtle out would be very, uh, very helpful. If you don't, then we can just keep on rolling through. The first step that we're going to do though is we're going to start with that piece of chalk or pencil, whatever drawing utensil you have, and we're going to draw our turtle. So you want to find the middle of your canvas. Uh, also you want to make sure your canvas is horizontal. Um, so you're going to find the middle of the top of your canvas and about three fingers. You may have teeny tiny fingers, uh, especially if you're really little. Um, so depending on how, how much room you want your turtle to be on here uh, will depend on how many fingers. But loosely, I'm going to use three fingers and the middle on the top, so about three fingers down, I am going to do a mark, and this is going to be my turtle's forehead, okay? And then I'm just going to kind of shape it like, kind of like a rounded triangle, or maybe like an arrowhead, something like that. So uh, another thing is your turtle head should be about the size of like a loose fist. So of course this is a tight fist and then like a loose fist would be like this. So about, about the size of a loose fist, okay? Doesn't have to be exact. Nothing's perfect, but we are going to make it amazing either way. So I'm just sketchingly a nice turtle head here, okay, 
And then I'll make it darker for you so you can see it easier. Okay, and you see how it kind of comes down to a point because the turtle's uh, like jaw is going to be a little pointed. So we've got that jaw going there. Okay, and of course, if you mess up, you can always go over it later. Um, yeah, so then uh, we're going to draw the fins. So I'm going to start over here on my right side. Uh, and the first, first, first top line of our fin is going to be kind of like a rainbow shape. So it's going to be kind of down here on the lower end of his jaw. It's going to be kind of like a little rainbow. Little rainbow. And then we're going to kind of do uh, the opposite. So then it's going to kind of flare up. So we did a, a rainbow or a hill. And then we're just going to kind of flick the fin upwards. Okay nice and upwards and then we're just going to connect the bottom as such so that's his first fin right okay and then we're going to jump over here to the left fin. Uh, the left fin isn't as uh, flamboyant, I guess, as the right one, so it's not as, as curvy. But it is pretty similar. You want to make sure that they're also, they're kind of in the same, the same, um, like, spots, because you don't want fins or shoulders to be off. <laughs> so I'm just kind of looking here. My other fin is about here. So I'm just, this one is... It's kind of like a hill shape, but not as prominent as this one. But I'm just going to come down a little. And then I'm just going to kind of flare it out here. Yeah, making sure. Here we go. And then, again, making sure they're kind of in the same spot. I'm looking about right here. And then I'm just going to connect that. Okay. All right. So from here, we're going to draw the turtle shell. And the turtle shell kind of looks like an upside down Pizza Hut hat. So if you like pizza, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's about three, again, three fingers loosely, give or take, depending on how big you want your shell to be. So right underneath that chin there, it's going to be about three loose fingers. So I'm measuring from the chin down. Actually, I want mine a little longer. And then I'm just going to kind of come up on the sides, like that good old Pizza Hut sign upside down here give or take okay and then on the bottom of this shell which is what we just drew it's going to be a little triangle for that back fin or the tail so it's going to be kind of curved to the side and that is our turtle shape okay so from here, we're going to jump right into the fun part. So we get to actually start painting. So for our first color mixture, um, I am going to jump right in with the background. So I'm going to take the biggest paintbrush and do that background color. And the mixture is going to be um, two scoops of white. So I'm going to dip, first I'm going to dip my brush in the water cup to get it a little wet. And then I'm going to take my nice clean plate and do two scoops of white. So one, two, put that on top, one scoop of green, one, and then one scoop of blue. And I'm putting all these colors right on top of each other right here, yeah. And then when I'm mixing it, I'm doing kind of like little circles. You want to make sure that you are painting or like mixing in little circles so that you're not spreading out that uh, mixture on your plate. And then you're painting your plate instead of your canvas. So you want to make sure that you're just kind of flipping and flopping it like, like you would maybe like making cake or something. So little teeny tiny circles. Uh, and you want this color to be kind of like a nice teal teal color maybe you want yours more blue you can add more blue maybe you want it more green you can add more green um but for anyone who's interested 
this is kind of what my color looks like. It looks very blue in the camera, but it's a little greener than that. Okay, so this color is going to be this nice color all along the background. And when you're doing this, don't worry about it being so perfect um, because we're going to be going over it so much. So you kind of want to do it really quickly and like the letter X. So do X, 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 X all over it uh, with lots of, lots of color going on. Nice and messy zigzags. Uh, you just want lots of movement. You don't want it to be super flat, uh, super calm. The texture helps kind of visualize the different dimensions in, your, in an ocean, different depths. So by having it nice and texturized, keeps things interesting and a little realistic. Awesome. So now would actually be a really good time to mention this because I accidentally got a little blue in my turtle here. Um, just a little. And if you do that, that's completely okay. Um, so blue and yellow makes green. And if you get a little green in your turtle, it's all good because turtles are mostly green anyway. Um, but yeah, it, we can go over it. Um, and the turtle itself will have so many different layers and other different colors on it that it, it'll, it'll be fine, I promise. So no worries. Um, we are all in this together. And I will help with mistakes as we go. It's all a part of the process. What do they say? No mistakes. There's no mistakes in art making, only like opportunities. Which is really true. It's very true. Art is in the eye of the beholder. As well as beauty. <laughs> so like I said, I'm just constantly moving. And the quicker you do this, the kind of better. Um, because there's so many different steps that we're going to be doing. Um, keeping it nice and wet will help you blend it easier as we continue going on and doing the other steps. Now, if you run out of this color and you need some more, the color mixture is still on the screen, um, but you don't have to worry about getting it the exact shade of blue because it's the ocean, so there are lots of shades of blue. Shades of blue, shades of green, um, there's lots. So don't even worry about it. So we are almost there, done with like the basic coat. Just kind of being mindful of the turtle, but not worrying too much about going into it. Because we'll fix it in the end. Okay. Still, I didn't clean my brush off. I'm still keeping it a little dirty. Uh, and if you look in the original painting, the painting kind of has like these big uh, sloshes on them, like these little um, brush strokes, and it kind of fades from one color to the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my brush, I didn't clean it off, and I'm just going to dip it in the green by itself. Um, and it still has some other colors on there. And I'm just going to do kind of these big little dash brush strokes. Okay. And with the background still a little wet, it's going to blend in a little bit, which is what you want. Okay. It means that I had spent a lot of money to go to school. <laughs> That's what that means. And it means I'll owe money for the rest of my life because I got a good education. <laughs> no, but uh, it means that I have gone through a lot of school so that I can do a really good job 
um, afterwards so that hopefully I can make lots of money and I can travel and see all the sea turtles that I want. <laughs> I'm not, well, kind of. So I'm doing this thing called art therapy. So maybe you guys might notice like when you're painting, you may feel really good. Like this is really relaxing or like this makes you feel better. Maybe you're in a bad mood. Um, and a very simple, uh, easy explanation. Um, I'm going to school to do art therapy for people who struggle with like depression, if any of you know what that is. Or um, maybe to work with soldiers who come back and they, they're they struggling with something. So I'm, I'm becoming a teacher so that I can help people feel better with art. Yeah, exactly. I just did, dipped it in the green by itself, yeah. So I did a lot of green dots over this way, right? And then I have a little bit over here on the, on the bottom left side. Not too many. And I'm not cleaning my brush off because I kind of want them all to blend in with each other. Yeah, yeah, wherever you'd like. And then afterwards. What? That's okay. We're just going to keep it going. And you're just, uh, you can just keep up as we're rolling along, okay? Uh, they, they're like, they're not fish. It's just like a blurry background. So I'm just tapping my brush just like this. That's all I'm doing. These big flat dots. And then now, again, I didn't clean my brush off. I am just picked up some blue. And again, because all these colors are nice and wet, they're going to kind of blend in with each other, which is fine. And I'm just focusing on the bottom half for right now. For some reason, it's snow. Snow? <laughs> I'm still using the, the big one. Yep, I haven't switched. So now I've got some dark blue spots and some green spots. And again, I have not cleaned my brush off, so they're all just kind of mixing and blending with each other. Okay. <laughs> oh, a lot. I've painted a lot. Lots and lots of paintings. My favorite, though, are sunsets. Yeah, you've only done two paintings? Yeah. This is my second painting. Ooh. Oh, I have that one on the wall over here. That one's super fun. The llama unicorn, everyone's favorite. So for anyone that I may have lost in that process, um, so I focused on the right side of my painting, right? So we painted the whole background, this one color that we mixed. And then without cleaning my brush off, I just did a uh, green by itself. I just did some spots on the bottom. I did a lot of green over on the right side, so it looks like it's a shadow. And then I had a little bit green on the left side, okay? And then I took just blue again. I did not clean off my paintbrush. So I took just blue and then I did some some spots of just blue. Again, I'm just focusing on the bottom right now. So the bottom right is really heavy because I want that to be the dark or the darker focal point. And then I'm just going to kind of fade it over to the, the, the left side, <laughs> the right and the left side. Um, yeah. Now that I have kind of this dark shadow on the right side, again, I'm not cleaning my brush off, okay? We want our background to be nice and kind of messy and blended. Um, yeah, so dirty paintbrush again. As I'm moving to the left side, I'm going to pick up a little bit of white, just a little, 
So my paintbrush is still nice and dirty and I picked up some white on the other side and I'm just going to kind of slap same dash technique and I'm just going to kind of lighten up this left side. But you can continue to add those blues and those greens. But now we're going to have some white on this side. Uh, well, I've been at this location for almost two years now. Um, I have been teaching like this for about about three three or four years. Um, but I've been doing art in general since I was probably your age. So I've been doing art for a really long time. I, love art. I do too. Isn't it fun? Ooh, what are you going to paint? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I love? I love you guys painting with me. So that way I don't have to paint in the studio all by myself. I get to see you guys. And we get to laugh and we get to share stories. We get to have a good old fun time. Yeah. So again, just keeping everyone updated, or caught up, I mean. I'm just focused on the bottom. We're just adding those colors, you know, uh, just doing that dash work over and over and over and over again. Lots and lots of dots and dashes. If anyone is kind of struggling with this technique, so I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing, is the entire time, my entire bottom, um, I did not clean my brush once. So I have blue, white, green, and that original mix, the original teal color that we did for the background, all on my paintbrush. So it's still all dirty. Um, hmm. Yeah, that works. And then I'm just continuing to kind of tap and tap and tap all along. Okay. Blue. I love blue. What's your favorite color? Yes. Purple's pretty too. Yeah, those are all great colors. Well, it sounds like a lot of our favorite colors we're using today. How fun is that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Baby Blue was pretty. Um, yeah. How are you guys doing on your paintings? You guys feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to keep it rolling. Yeah, let me see it. Oh, I love the background colors. Good job. That's really pretty. Ooh, I like your background color too. Pretty blue. Good job, good job, good job, guys. These are pretty. 
Nice and colors. Yeah. So with those dashes, those little dots that we were doing, you want to make sure that you're doing lots and lots and lots of them so that we can really get that blurred effect. Oh, good job. Yeah. Oh, dirty hands. Yep. That's how you know you're doing it right when you got dirty hands. <laughs> These look good. Yeah. Good job. These are great. Um, no. So I've just, I'm hanging on to my brush. We're going to hop to the top, um, just like we've been doing, um, with some of the, the dots and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So if you're ready to work on those dots, you can up on the top. I just wanted to make sure everyone got that really cool technique down. Um, just to, to start off with. So, uh, for the top corner, just like we've been doing, I didn't clean my brush off again. I'm still using that good, dirty old brush. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of do those green dots up uh, kind of heavy on the top right corner. Forgot my, my left and right for a second there. <laughs> um, yeah. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of fade uh, over to the left side. So you want to make sure that that right side is heavier and it fades because this is the side that's going to be your light. So it's going to fade into a lighter color. No, not necessarily um, the like the head like a head harder, uh, but just like um, like more green, more green on this side and less green on this side. Mm hmm. Good question. Yeah, so I've got more green dashes on this side and not so many on that side. And then I'm just picking up a little bit of blue and white and just kind of going in with it. I'm like awesome. Great. Yes. 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 So you want to now we're going to add those dots to the top of our of our ocean. So go ahead and start start those dots, okay? <laughs> Very pretty color. It's that pretty teal color background. Okay. So, like I said, sea turtles are one of my favorite. Do you guys know any fun facts about sea turtles? Yes. Yeah? What are your fun facts? They do! So, turtles are actually, or they can be, considered as dinosaurs. Um, not that they live forever, but they've been around for so long uh, that they are known as the cousins of dinosaurs. Um, they've been swimming with the dinosaurs and they are still hanging out with us. Does anyone, yeah, isn't that cool? Does anyone know any other dinosaurs that are still alive today? Yeah, what are they? Okay. Lizards? Exactly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So the one I was thinking of is alligators. Alligators uh, have been around since the dinosaurs, too. Yeah. So I know. I know turtles can live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think I remember one of those when I was a kid. Yeah, turtles, turtles are pretty cool. Probably, but I don't know enough of, enough about bugs. 
Did you say mosquitoes? <laughs> oh. Yeah, what's that? Ew, cockroaches. Me too. Maybe. <laughs> Cavemen? <laughs> Not quite. Cavemen came long after the dinosaurs were all gone. Despite what the cartoons show. Yeah. That's why they use their big old head to snatch up their prey. Does anyone know what a turtle's favorite food is? See? No. No. Yes, it's jellyfish. Sea turtles love jellyfish. So usually if we were to touch jellyfish, they would sting us, right? But sea turtles have really uh, special, like their mouths inside are immune to that like stinging effect. So they can just swallow it whole without ever having to be stung. How cool is that? Yeah, have you ever been stung by a jellyfish? It hurts. <laughs> Yeah, they do. What do they go on land for? Does anyone know? Yes. They do. They do. They have to lay their eggs on on uh, in a nice deep sand hole. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds really fun, actually. So, another cool fact, since we were talking about turtles and eggs, do you guys know how you get girl turtles and boy turtles? What decides that? Yeah. Wow, you guys are really smart. Yeah. So depending on where the turtle lays their eggs, how warm or cold it is there, or even maybe how deep the hole is to keep uh, those eggs warm or cool determines how many boys and how many girls come out. What about a dolphin? Oh, you got to ride on one. What? That is so cool. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Some, uh, some, some sea creatures like to help each other out. Mm hmm. But, you know, uh, whenever we have turtles that are like in aquariums or they're in a rescue facility, um, that that stuff that other fish eat off of the turtle shells, um, there are things in the ocean like coral or maybe the sand that helps clean their shells for them. And because whenever we have them in aquariums and stuff, they don't have any of that stuff. So we actually have to take toothbrushes and clean the turtle shells. We got to scrub them. Oh yeah. Oh, 
Wow, I didn't know that. Nice and clean. Okay. So I think my background is pretty good. How are you guys feeling about yours? We're doing good? Good. Okay. So I want to... <laughs> a volcano in your ocean? They they do have volcanoes in your ocean, <laughs> but <laughs> Ooh, very good. Nice lots of colors. Ooh, nice. Okay, okay. That's okay. So what I actually did is that original color that we mixed. So what, two white, one blue, one green. Um, I was kind of adding that color back in over the colors that we added. So you can use that as a really good mixing tool as well. It helps soften uh, the, the colors and blend into each other nice and pretty. Mm-hmm. Yum. Yep, yep. Ooh, what are you going to draw? What are you guys drawing? Yeah? What are you guys drawing today? Do you know? <laughs> okay. That's okay. I don't, I don't think many of us are done yet. We're we're just adding colors. Okay. Have you seen a what? Mm, I don't think so. Maybe. Mm. Oh yeah, I know what it is, but I don't I don't think I've seen one. Hmm. That's really cool. So uh, something that I, I hadn't told you, um, but if you look at the original painting, uh, the original painting is a, a, is a bit more greener. Um, so my painting is still a little wet. If you want to, this is totally optional. I love my background. Um, so I may not add a lot, but if you want to, you can add in, um, so still my dirty paintbrush, you can add in a little bit of yellow to some spots on your painting. And the spots will kind of blend into kind of a greenish, a light green color, which is fine. You can add a little if you want. Why is this so wet? Do I? Yes, I have one very spoiled black cat. So spoiled. Do you have any pets? I have a fish. I have three chickens. <laughs> chickens? I have one and I have a snake. I have <laughs> so we <laughs> Yeah. Lots of pets. Yeah, pets are pets are fun. They give us Interesting. Oh, uh, where where are you from that you keep all your chickens at? Where do you live? Florida. Florida. Oh, really? I thought you might be in North Carolina. 
I know I have a lot of neighbors in North Carolina that have chickens. Do you guys Do you guys eat fresh eggs from your chickens? A cockroach? What? <laughs> so did any of you guys did any of you guys add some yellow to your canvas? Yeah. Good. Nice and nice and bright. Get those colors in there. We're almost done with the background. Just throughout wherever you'd like. Um, if your painting is still, it should be a little wet, so it should blend into a nice green. If it's if it's a little dry, you can always add in some more of those other colors that we've been using. Uh huh. Are you the one that's showing me your painting? Who who was saying that it wasn't really working, uh, fixing it? Were you? Can I? Wh what's wrong with your painting that you're trying to fix it? Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. So remember that that original pretty blue color that we mixed, our original color? It was two white, one blue, one green. If you take that color and kind of do these dots like we've been doing, especially on that green side, that'll help break up that green, okay? And that'll that'll get you that blending that you're trying to get back. So just keep doing those dashes like we've been doing. The colors look really pretty though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you work with cows on a farm? Is that what you said? That's really cool. Okay. So hopefully, um, I'm gonna uh, before mine dries anymore. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Ooh. really cool okay okay guys we're gonna we're gonna do the next step before our paintings dry anymore uh, mine is still a little dry so let's let's see let's see what we can do about this um, but uh, hopefully your top right hand corner is still wet um, does anyone's right corner not wet with paint does anyone have a completely dry corner no? Okay, good. You have a dry one? Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Um, so if, if yours is still wet, what I want you to do is... That's good. You want it to be wet. If it's not, mine's a little dry. I'll show you what we're going to do with it. So I'm still using the same paintbrush, but this time what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to switch it to the end that is not a paintbrush. So the end that doesn't have any bristles on it. 
So I'm going to use it like I would a pencil. And up in the top right hand corner, I'm going to kind of carve out some bubbles. So I'm just going to, mine is still a little wet, kind of. And just doing circles in the paint. Another technique that you can do, since mine is a little wet as well, is just dip that end of the brush that isn't a paintbrush, so the end, uh, in some, some color, so in blue or green, and just kind of draw a circle. Okay? So I'm tapping mine in just some white, blue, green, all of the above that we've just used. And I'm just drawing a circle. Circle, circle, circle. And that's... Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. Okay. So let's be using the biggest one. Um, if that's not working for you and you don't like how that's looking, you can just draw a normal bubble. So, so you either use the end of the big paintbrush, like the the end that's not a paintbrush, so it doesn't have any bristles, uh, or if you don't like how that's, if you don't like. If you don't like how that's looking, I'm just going to switch to the smallest paintbrush. And, and yeah, if it's dry or if you just don't like it. And then I'm just using some white and blue and drawing in circles. Like you don't want your bubble to be perfectly round. And it doesn't have to be like all one color. And if it if the background is still wet, that's great. You want it to kind of blend into the other colors. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. That'll work too. I mix, I mix white and blue to make a different color for the And I white and blue to the background. So I added some so, so I added some bubbles, right? So these are my little bubbles. And then in each one of your bubbles, you want to just take some white and just do a really white kind of comma on the inside of your bubbles. So it has a nice light effect on it. Okay. And then. Yeah. That's what they're there for if you need them. Okay. So after we did our bubbles, um, we're pretty much done for now. We're going to take a break. Um, yeah, we can. So we're going to do a five-minute break. Um, if you haven't, because I haven't said it, but maybe you already knew it because you guys are super awesome, um, paint the edges of your canvas. The edges need to be covered. Or it, um, it looks more complete if you c if you cover the edges. Um, so I'm just, just while we're hanging out here, I'm just going to paint the edges of my canvas. I'm just going to go back to that original color that we painted the background. And I'm going to paint my edges. That original color, so two white, one blue, one green. Yep. But during, once we start a break, you want to make sure that you're done with the actual painting, like the background and stuff, so that it has time to dry. 
when we start our turtle, our turtle doesn't need to be, compl uh, uh, I mean, the, the painting doesn't need to be completely dry, um, since we're not painting the background anymore, but you know, it definitely helps. Oh, yeah, what's up? Yeah, so you just pick it up and rotate it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to rotate mine too so I can get that bottom. <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> Cat, cats are pretty chill. Okay, guys, I have finished painting my edges. Um, we are going to go on a quick five-minute break uh, just to give things a minute to dry. Maybe you need to go to the bathroom. Uh, now would be a really good time during our break to swap out your water. Um, just get fresh new water. That's a really good time to do that. So just hang out, get new water, and we'll be back in, in five. All right, so the next step that we're going to jump on is we are going to begin actually painting the turtle. So I have cleaned off my big paintbrush. We're still using the same paintbrush. Uh, it's nice and clean and fresh. And we are going to do that first color mixture of the yellow sea turtle. So that's gonna be one scoop of white and one scoop of yellow. Um, yeah, so uh, remember when you're mixing to mix in tiny circles so you're not painting your plate and I'm just going to go right into that color mixture that we have and we're gonna paint our uh, both fins his head and then don't forget his little tail down there okay so um, your background may be a little wet and like um, me, I used a blue uh, chalk piece. So like I said earlier, blue and yellow make green. So I, you may see some green come in and you may get some green in yours as well from the background and that's, that's okay. That's completely, completely okay. Um, it'll just give your turtle some, some nice dimension um, work with work with what you've got here don't have to don't have to worry about it now if you happen to have like a big like a big glop that really kind of, you pick you might have like picked up from your background I would I would probably clean your brush off um, and then go back in with that yellow but I mean if you look at the original painting um, there's going to be lots of lots of layering over it anyway so there will be plenty of time to fix that so again you don't really have to worry too much about your turtle um, I'm really just trying to get that color up there making sure all the white spots are, are nice and covered. If you go into the shell, that's okay um, because the shell's gonna be a darker color so you don't particularly have to worry about that. So I actually have to mix more. So again, that uh, the color mix was just the one, uh, one yellow and one white. If you ever need to mix more, So one of each. And that's, that's, uh, that's your turtle. 
And I know you guys probably can't see it on my screen, but I can definitely see on my painting how it's picked up some blue. Um, the yellow has picked up some blue, so I can definitely see some greenish hues. Um, like I said, I'm not even worried about it, so you guys don't worry about it either. So again, don't forget uh, his little tail down there. His little tail or his back fin, whichever that is. If you need to switch to that smaller paintbrush, not the pointed one, um, but the flathead one to get the tail, you can. And that is our turtle, okay? All right, so now we're gonna start with a nice clean brush again. So I'm gonna clean off my brush, uh, take off all that yellow, and then we're going to jump into the shell color. So our next mixing color um, is going to be uh, one scoop of orange and one scoop of brown. So I have a nice clean paintbrush. Okay, it doesn't look very clean, but it is. And then I'm gonna do one of each. So one orange and one brown. So this is gonna mix a really nice warm brown color for his shell. Okay, if it's too red or like orangey, uh, you can you can always add some more brown, no worries. Um, that's what mine looks like. It looks very red in, in the camera, but it, it's much, it's more brown. So, uh, this is just gonna be your shell color. So I'm just using the big brush, and again, like especially around the top, the top parts here, if you need to go smaller, uh, feel free. I would not recommend doing the pointed brush if you, if that's what you have to use. Um, the pointed brush when you're painting large spaces can make it really like chunky and really rippled so it leaves like a really annoying texture it's not made to cover broad spaces so I wouldn't go that small I would rather go bigger than even smaller brushes brush wise because it just helps with the texture but you know, work with what you got. Now you kind of want to be careful, you know, not to get too much brown in the yellow. So I'm just being kind of careful going around his neck and getting that underarm really carefully. Because I don't want, I kind of want to control where I'm putting my brown at. I don't want it to drip anywhere. And of course brown is much darker than yellow, so it's a little harder to fix. Okay. And that is the base for your turtle shell. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I had a spot there. Uh, so now I'm going to clean off my brush again. So I'm going to start nice and clean. Uh, actually, I'm going to switch to that medium sized brush. Um, so the nice flat head one. And then I'm going to get it wet. And then we're going to kind of begin adding some color to the fins. We're, we're going to leave the head alone for a bit so it can dry. Um, but, uh, so we're going to be adding lots of colors to the fins, actually. Um, so, uh, but our first color that we're going to use is just going to be plain old orange. We're just going to, I'm using this brush and I'm going right in with the orange and I'm just going to kind of focus in this little, like, they look like little dashes, uh, mostly along the top half of our fins, okay? 
top half. Okay. Both sides. And again, like I said, focus on the top half here. And you can make some bigger ones and some smaller ones. And if your yellow is still a little wet, that's that's okay. That's that's okay. Um the colors are going to kind of mix and blend with each other to give it nice some nice color. Okay. So I'm going to clean my brush off just a little so it doesn't have to be perfectly clean. And then I'm going to go right in with the red. So give him some nice red spots. And again, I'm focusing this color mostly on that top half. Top half of those fins, right? Okay. Okay, so now we have orange and we have red. An extra little color, if you're feeling extra, um, is you can even do a uh, lighter, lighter of either of those. So I'm gonna take just a scoop of, um, just a scoop of orange, and I'm just going to add a little white to it. Um, you can even add a little white to red. You can add a little white to both of them, you know, just to do a different color to fill in our turtle. So I have a lighter orange here, and uh, I'm just filling it in, you know. Again, focusing on the top of my fins. So nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, we're just going to be adding lots and lots and lots of color to our turtle, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, so now, uh, we're going to work on the kind of like outline detail work. So a lot of the detail work, uh, we've got to do the face, right? So we're going to mix our next color. So I'm going to take the smallest paintbrush and I am going to mix my new color. <laughs> um, so my next color is going to be the outline color and it's going to be uh, one scoop of orange, one scoop of brown, and one scoop of blue. So again, I'm using my smallest paintbrush and then I'm just going to do one blue, one brown, and one orange, okay? You don't need too much. Now when you mix this, you want it to be a really uh, dark, dark brown color. Not quite black, but a dark brown. And again, small, small circles. So you're not painting your plate, you've got plenty of color. This is what mine looks like for anyone who's interested. It looks kind of brownish black. Um, if it's too black, uh, you might want to add some more brown or orange into it. I mean, do you have a little too much blue? So uh, I'm going to take this color and we're going to kind of outline our turtle's face. Okay. So. I'm going to find the center of my turtle's forehead and I'm going to kind of drop just a little uh, and draw like a little rainbow. So I'm not doing it directly on the top, but just a little, a little underneath, okay? Actually, I have a little too much paint on my brush, so a good technique is making sure that there's not a lot of, a lot of chunky paint on your brush because you only need a little. So I wiped a little off and I'm drawing a little rainbow right along there, okay? And then I'm going to bring 
this down on the left first. Like, like so. And then I'm actually going to figure out where I want the middle of, of his mouth to be. And I'm going to do a little smile here. Okay, so then I'm going to kind of connect these two here. So I'm going to take the edge of that cheek and kind of connect this way. Another thing that I didn't mention, um, if, your, if your face is dry, um, you, you're more than welcome to use pencil first or chalk. If that's more comfortable for you, that works too. So I'm going to start at the top over here, and just like I did over here, I'm just going to kind of curve it down and out. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got our funky kind of turtle nose here, we're going to draw in the eyes. And the eyes are kind of shaped like lemons, or just like normal eyes, you know. Um, so I'm going to find kind of like where my nose dips, my turtle nose dips at or goes in. And I'm just going to kind of draw in my lemon shape. Okay. Both sides. And then, of course, you want to color in those eyes. Now, the eye color is just going to be a base color. So you have something to go to paint on top of. Okay. And then, of course, don't forget the little nostrils. Nostrils are going to be at the top. And they're kind of shaped like little, little peanuts or jelly beans. Okay, so of course you got two of them. Make sure they're kind of, you know, the same size. All right. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we have our basic turtle face, um, I, we're going to switch back to that uh, flat-headed, smallish, medium-sized paintbrush. <laughs> um, and I make sure it's nice and clean, so you're starting nice and fresh. And we're just going to kind of add um, a, a little bit of color to his face. So the same colors that we added to the fins, we're now going to kind of add to his face. And then his little tail down there as well. So... I am just going to start with orange because that's what we started with last time. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can kind of add colors throughout wherever you feel that you'd like to. Um, but I'm just going to add some orange, you know, around his face, around the, around the edges of his head. Maybe some forehead marks. Okay. Got a little bit on his chin, not too much. And then I'm going to add some to his tail. Got some tail marks down there. And then I didn't, I'm not going to clean my brush off. You can if you want. Uh, I'm just going to go back right in with the red. I'm going to add some red to his tail. Add some red to the face. And then, of course, that other color mix that we did. Um, we did a lighter orange, so we did, it was just some orange with some white, and it wasn't really specific. Um, just a lighter orange, you know, or maybe you did some lighter red too. Again, we're just doing the same colors that we did on the fins to the, to the face and the tail. So I'm just adding some of those. 
to around the face, right, and then to the tail. No, it's the it's the light orange that we mixed. So it was like one yellow and one orange. So now that I just kind of um, added in that light orange mixture to their face, um, we're also just going to kind of randomly add in um, some of the other colors that we have. So you can clean your brush off or you don't have to, whatever works, because um, you kind of want the spots to mix and mingle. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take some red, just plain red by itself, and then I'm just going to kind of add in some of those to the fins of the turtle as well. And I'm focusing these on the top half of the arms of the fins. Okay. You can add this color to the face too. Just kind of wherever you would like to have these bright s spots at. Do we have to mix anything? Nope, it's just straight red. You say you have pink? Is that what you said? Pink is good too, if you want pink on your turtle. And then you can add just orange by itself too. So you have a light orange and now you have a dark orange. So really kind of we're just having fun with our turtle colors, right? So we're just using a lot of reds, a lot of oranges, and a lot of yellows. Another mixture that you can do is you can do orange and white. So I just did orange and white on my brush at the same time. And I'm just kind of adding that into my turtle, too. And all of them are kind of wet still, so they're kind of blending into each other, and that's okay. Excuse me? Yeah. Um, these Okay, um, well after the class, um, after the class is over, this video is being recorded and the video will be up for four days after today. So you could catch it up, rewind it, fast forward it, uh, and catch up where you left off at it if you'd like. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the color that I'm using is I'm using orange and white. Mm-hmm. And, you're, and I'm just adding this to the face and the arms and just kind of wherever you'd like these colors to be, right? Very cute. So just to kind of back it up a little, uh, all our dots that we used, we've used orange, right? We've used red. Uh, and then I mixed, uh, we mixed a light orange. So we did like orange and yellow. So that's a lighter orange. Then I did an even lighter orange and I did orange and white. Um, 
And then I'm just kind of going back in and adding some white, just plain white by itself. And like I said, our, our dots are still kind of wet. So some of the colors are blending in with each other and making like brand new spots on him or her. And that's, that's fine too. We just want our turtle face to be nice and colorful. Get some nice color going on, you know, okay. Get lots of colors. Lots and lots of colors. Okay. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add some highlights to that shell. Um, so we're going to mix a new color. So I cleaned off my paintbrush. I'm using that medium sized paintbrush still that we're doing. And our mix is going to be one white. So I'm going to do a scoop of white. One orange, a scoop of orange, and one red. And you don't need too much of this color, but the color should come out looking like kind of like a stamp. So one white, one orange, and one red. And it should be like a salmon color. So if it's too pink, add in more orange. Okay, and these are going to be uh, some highlights on the shell. So I'm going to focus these little dashes horizontally going along the shell line. Okay, you can add more colors to the shell if you'd like. And then as I get down towards the bottom of the shell, without cleaning my brush off, I'm going to pick up some of that outline color and the original shell color that we used previously. And I'm just going to kind of shade in the back of that shell to make it a little darker than the rest. What were the colors to make the original shell color? Uh, equal parts brown and orange. Okay, so I mixed, so we did some highlights, and then I did one white, one orange, and one red to make a salmon color. And then I added these dashes to the shell. And then towards the bottom of the shell, I'm taking some of the original dark outline black color that we made and adding it heavily to the bottom while also using bits and pieces. Like the bottom of the shell? Yes. And then also using bits of the original shell color to make that the bottom of the shell darker. Excuse me? Yeah? I really like your turtle a lot. <laughs> Thank you. I've been working very hard on it with you guys. It looks realistic. Swap, turtle. Swap turtles. You want to come here and get it? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, going back to our turtle, 
Uh, you can also, so that pretty salmon color that we mixed for the shell, you can also include that color into the rest of the turtle if you'd like. Like up on the fins and stuff, and the face. It's uh, blue, one scoop of blue, one scoop of brown, and one scoop of orange. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now another color that we're going to add to our turtle is I'm cleaning my brush off, still using the same brush, and I'm going to do two scoops of yellow with a touch of green. So two yellow and a little bit of green, and this should make like a lime light green color and you can add this color if you want to but this green color is going to be added to our turtle okay so the fins and the face so it's too yellow and a touch of green so you want it to be a really nice lime color So I focused this nice lime color a lot on the areas that we haven't painted yet. So I used it a lot on the bottom of the fins, right, where all of that, that yellow is kind of showing. So the bottom of our fins are nice and bright. And then I'm going to add some to the face as well. Okay. You have it backwards. It's two scoops of yellow and a touch of green. So like I said, these steps that we're doing, we're just adding the more spots to our turtle. So if you get lost in the colors, that's okay. We're really just focused on filling in our turtle, our turtle shell. Yes, we have about 10 minutes left. So I did it, I focused it on the bottom of our, of our fins, okay? So it's nice and bright, right? Excuse me? Yeah. Can I ask, like, why do the eyes or at least shine? I'd recommend waiting. Uh, so that way we can all do it together and I can make sure I can help you out as we do it, okay? So another thing that we've got to do, we've got to kind of shade the bottom of the turtles jawline so I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm using that dark um, outline color that dark black color that we made and uh, and just kind of adding some of that those colors to the left side of the jaw and then I'm also using some of that original brown color for the shell and I'm only doing this on the left side Okay, lots and lots and lots of colors. Okay. All right. So the next the next thing that we're going to do guys is I'm cleaning off my brush again. We're cleaning off 
Okay. <laughs> we, I'm, the next step I'm doing is I'm cleaning off my brush again and I'm adding more white. So I'm really focusing this white along the middle of the nose. So we're filling in that nose, adding in those dashes, adding in some big white spots on the, on the fins. Again, it's okay if the colors blend. These white spots should be like super prominent, should really stand out, okay? Okay, well maybe you need some more white. Add some over here, and then you wanna make sure you're adding a lot of white to the right side of the jawline. And then I even switched back to that bigger brush and I'm really just filling in my turtle, adding in some colors, making sure those white spots are nice and, and big. Okay. Nice and filled in. And then I'm going to work on them, those eyes. So I'm going back to the medium sized brush and I'm going to really just kind of whatever color that you feel that you would like to kind of surround our turtle, our turtle's eyes. I'm adding in some yellow, some of that green yellow that we mixed. And then some of that lighter orange color that we mixed. So it was like white and orange. I'm going to use that light white orange color as the kind of like eyelid, the eyelid color. So I'm just going to kind of sweep this color along the top half of my eye. And then I'm just going to kind of double dip it and have it be a little green on the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to finally, I'm going to use the smallest paintbrush and I'm adding in the white to the middle of my turtle eye. And then with, remember that dark outline color, I'm just gonna kind of outline the top half of my fins with a mixture of that and the original shell color just to kind of finish the turtle off. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then shape around the head too.
What? Yeah, what's up? What was the question? Oh, you mean like an upcoming week? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, what's up? The black color was one brown, one orange, and one blue. Uh huh. I am only teaching this one this week, but I will be back again soon. So you will see me again, I promise. Um, excuse me? Yeah. Uh, The lighter green was like two scoops of yellow and like a touch of green. So it made like a lime green. Mm hmm. Okay. But I mean, other than that, guys, we've made it through all the steps. So yeah, congratulations, you guys. Um, I, I was just adding colors where I felt like I wanted some colors and um, just kind of filling in my turtle spots. You can continue adding colors if you'd like. But I mean, we're pretty much done, guys. How are we feeling on our on our turtles? Are we liking them? Are we happy with them? Yes. Good. Kind of. <laughs> well, um You messed up. How'd you mess up? Why is bigger bad? Oh, okay. All right. Well, have fun. Bye. Um, so yeah, we've we've officially gone through all of the steps. Um Yeah. Well, before before 
you guys sign out. Oh, we're gonna take a group photo of our of our painting first, okay? So if you would like to turn your cameras on and show us your masterpieces, uh, that would be super awesome because I would love to see your hard work um, and see what a great job you guys did. Oh, so cute. So cute, guys. Oh, these are really good. So yeah, um, we're going to take a group photo. So if you want to hold your painting and kind of put your your uh, face in with your painting. And we're just going to do a countdown, okay? So we're going to do it on five, four, three, two, one, smile, cheese. <laughs> Oh, good job, guys. They look so cute, and they all came out super, super adorable. Um, it was I had so much fun being with, with you guys here today. A lot of you guys were really asking about Kids Camp. Um, I won't be teaching any other this week, but I, I know I'll be back for another one. So hopefully I will see you again soon. Um, we do have other paintings and um other activities coming up that like aren't even on canvas so feel free to check out uh your pinot palette local studio page to see what we're doing um because we will be here for several more weeks with lots of new cool paintings coming up um so yeah if you had an awesome time be sure to check those out sign up with us um and i hope to see you guys soon so thank you for joining me today um, yeah, be sure to uh, share your photos. If you guys took any photos at home, make sure you post them and then do hashtag Pinos Live so that we can all see them. Um, we want to make sure that you have plenty of bragging rights. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys did great. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. Bye. Have a great summer. Oh, you too.